What the hell do you think you're doing? Why do you have your hands on that woman? None of my business. Well, <laughs> actually, the thing is, uh, that woman is my girlfriend. So I think it is my business, you animalistic fuck. Actually, that's more of an insult to animals than you. Whoa. Where you going, buddy? Don't try and run away now. What's this? Oh, it's Mr. Knife. And he does not like you very much. Now, what you're going to do is apologize to my girlfriend. I'll give you to the count of three. And if you don't, I'm cutting your hands off. Because you clearly can't keep them to yourself. One. Two. Three. Very good. Now fuck off. Are you okay, sweetheart? He didn't hurt you or anything, did he? Oh. That's good. Where did he touch you? Nowhere private, I hope. Well, it wasn't okay for him to be touching you at all. But, you know what I mean. Okay, good. Um, sorry that happened to you. No, babe. You did nothing wrong. You should be able to walk outside without some asshole thinking he can do whatever he wants with you. There's no reason for you to feel guilty. Guys like him give the rest of us a bad name. I go to the restroom for two minutes and some fucking dog thinks he can put his hands on you. Unbelievable. Come here, baby. Let me hold you for a bit. I got you now, honey. You don't have to be scared anymore. When I said I would do whatever it takes to protect you, I meant it. You don't have to worry about anyone messing with you, as long as I'm here. <laughs> I love you too, hon. Hey, I have an idea. Why don't we go home, get nice and comfy on the couch, watch your favorite movie, and eat that ice cream you've been saving in the freezer. And if you don't want to do that, we can do whatever it is you'd like to do. I just, uh, I want to do whatever I can to make you feel better. I'd do anything for you. You know that. Well, um, maybe not anything that crazy, but pretty damn close. 
Now, come on, love. Take my hand and let's go home. <laughs>